Westpac Consumer Sentiment Index was up 2.7% in July. That was a weaker response than I thought to the fact that the Reserve Bank unsurprisingly uh, paused on their rate hike cycle. What we're finding out now is that this very, very low level of consumer sentiment, this time it was around 81.2, but that very low level of consumer sentiment that's been now with us for more than a year, the key driver is not interest rates, the key driver is inflation. One of the reasons there is that about a third of the population have a mortgage, but everybody is affected by this surging cost of living. And we saw some better numbers for inflation the previous week, where annual inflation dropped from of 6.8% to 5.6%. I think that was the reason why we saw any improvement in consumer sentiment at all. There's also some weakening going on in terms of people's confidence about their jobs now. Uh, we've seen around a 30% deterioration from the peak in that index uh, some months ago. And of course, what also stood out was once again, people are more confident about the outlook for house prices. Index up another one and a half percent. We're now in a position where five times more of the respondents are positive about house prices than are negative. We still believe the Reserve Bank will need to raise rates again in this cycle. We're expecting the next movement in August. Uh, the unemployment rate is still incredibly low. The Reserve Bank has indicated that they think the unemployment rate that's currently around 3.5% needs to go to 4.5% before it's consistent with them achieving their inflation objective. So I think that as we're seeing in the rest of the world, uh, central banks still have further to go on their tightening cycle and we're looking for a rate hike in both August and September. Thank you very much.